Over the last 20 years, telecommunication networks have taken a quantum leap in bandwidth and data capacity, which has forced the evolution from copper cables to optical fibers. Fiber optics is the only medium capable of keeping pace with today's ever-increasing hunger for more bandwidth. As a result, fiber optic cables have replaced most copper cables in networks covering any significant distances. The dielectric nature of optical fibers provides immunity from crosstalk, electromagnetic interference, and electronic signal degradation, but can also make electronic means of cable identification extremely difficult. But why would someone need to electronically identify a fiber optic cable? As with copper cables, fiber optic cables are not all placed at one time by the same installers. This can lead to errors and omissions in labeling and cable management, especially when crews are under tight deadlines. Over time, labels can become faded or even fall off the cable. In some cases, messy installations meant as temporary emergency restorations become permanent due to bad documentation staff turnovers and carelessness. This is even worse in metropolitan area networks where many service providers may be sharing the same vaults, manholes and even ducts. The cost of bad cable management quickly becomes apparent when a service provider or contractor must make an express or mid-entry into an existing cable span. If the correct cable isn't properly identified, the technicians may enter another organization's cable and not be aware of the mistake until the fiber identification process is started. At best, the cable would need to be protected by an unplanned splice closure for the cable's operator and users. A worse situation could be an emergency restoration. Which cable must be cut? The technician facing this dilemma may feel a sense of panic, realizing that cutting the wrong cable could result in millions of dollars of lost revenue. In the case of circuits carrying 911 emergency traffic, cutting the wrong cable could easily lead to loss of lives as well. So it is of critical importance to identify the correct cable before work begins. Because optical fibers do not radiate energy, it is impossible to use conventional RF signal detection equipment to locate a purely dielectric fiber optic cable. Even in cases where the cable is armored or contains metallic messengers, national electric codes dictate that these components be bonded to ground at points where metal parts are exposed, making their use as locate conductors impractical. Other conventional techniques of cable identification include the use of an OTDR or fiber identifier. The fiber identifier approach is common, but can only be used once the cable jacket has been removed and the fibers have been accessed. Another technique used is the introduction of micro losses in the target cable by a bending clamp or freezing. Physical cable bending results in a macro bend, while the freeze method introduces a micro bend to the cable's internal fibers, either of which can be seen on the OTDR if conditions are right. However, many fiber optic cable structures are rigid, and all cables contain buffering to protect the fibers from the effects of bending. As a result, slight bends may not be visible to the OTDR but if bending becomes too severe, the cable may suddenly kink and damage the internal fibers. Fortunately, there is a simple solution in the form of the FiberPro Model CI4000 Acoustic Fiber Cable Identifier, or AFSID. Developed for practical field applications and the requirements of large telecom customers, the AFSID uses optical interferometry for cable identification. This technique transforms the cable into an extremely sensitive audio detection device. The patent-pending innovation of the FiberPro AFSID system provides a user-friendly, non-invasive way of fiber optic cable identification that does not require cutting, bending, or freezing of the cable. This instrument is an extremely useful outside plant tool that greatly reduces the time and expense of cable management, maintenance, and repair of fiber optic networks. With the AFSID, the user can easily find a target optical cable by gently tapping on it. The AFSID system detects the tapping and provides an audio output as well as a visual display for use in noisy environments. The instrument is terminated to a pair of spare or dark fibers in the target cable and the fibers connected at the remote end of the cable span with a jumper to form a loop back. Gentle tapping applied to the cable at almost any point along the span can easily be detected by the AFSID as an audible sound as well as a variable LED bar display. The technicians maintain voice contact through the use of cell phones 
and to make finding target cables easier and faster, the AFSID is connected to one of the cell phones. This allows the remote technician to hear the output of the instrument while various cables are tested. This amazing instrument makes possible for the first time the ability to identify specific fiber optic cables by simply tapping on them. And its wide dynamic range allows it to detect tapping sounds up to 100 kilometers away. The simple, quick, and non-invasive operation of the Fiber Pro AFSID ensures that poor cable management, faded or missing labels, or undocumented repairs will no longer pose a serious threat to your bottom line.